you like this video please subscribe and share it don't forget to like it now i am going on topic is matrices and determinants now here first one if det of x power n y power n z power n x power n plus 2 y power n plus 2 z power n plus 2 x power n plus 3 y power n plus 3 z power n plus 3 equal to x minus y into y minus z into z minus x into 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z now we will see x y z now x y plus y z plus z h now we have now x power n into x square x power n into x a cube x power n common from first column y power n common from second z power n common from third column okay now we have x power n into y power n into z power n into det of now 1 1 1 now here x square here x power n common means now x a cube now y square y cube z square z cube is equal to now here lcm x y z 1 by x y z into x minus y into y minus z into z minus x now x y plus y z plus z x x y plus y z plus z x now here move this side now x power n into x x power n plus 1 now x power n plus 1 y power n plus 1 z power n plus 1 get off now here 1 1 1 x square y square z square now x a cube y cube z cube is equal to x minus y into y minus z into z minus x into now x y plus y z plus zx x y plus y z plus zx okay now since degree of 1 1 1 x square y square z square x a cube y cube z cube is 5 okay now degree of since Okay, now here degree of since degree of debt of 1, 1, 1 x square y square z square x a cube y cube z cube is 5. Okay, now here degree of LHS and degree of RHS. Now degree of degree of LHS is equal to now here n plus 1, n plus 1, n plus 1, 3n plus 3, if 3n plus 3. Now here degree of this one plus 5. Okay, now degree of RHS is equal to 5. Degree of RHS equal to 5. Now, degree of LHS equal to degree of RHS. Degree of LHS equal to degree of RHS. Now, 3N plus 8 is equal to 5. Now, 3N is equal to minus 3. Now, N is equal to minus 1. Therefore, n equal to minus 1. Option 2 is the correct one. Option 2 is the correct one. Next one. Let alpha, beta are the roots of ax square plus 
dx plus c equal to 0 and sn equal to alpha power n plus beta power n then the value of debt is okay now alpha beta are the roots of ax square plus dx plus c now alpha and beta are the roots now sor sum of the roots alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a and POR is equal to alpha beta is equal to C by A. Okay, now we are given debt. Now S1 alpha plus alpha power 1 plus beta power 1. Okay, next S2 alpha square plus beta square. S3 alpha Q plus beta Q. Okay, now we are given debt DR3 uh, can be right now debt of 1 plus 1 plus 1 now 1 plus alpha plus beta now s2 means 1 plus alpha square plus beta square now 1 plus alpha plus beta now 1 plus alpha square plus beta square now 1 plus alpha q plus beta q now 1 plus alpha square plus beta square now 1 plus alpha q plus beta q now 1 plus alpha power 4 plus beta power 4 okay now here this can be right now debt of 1 1 1 1 alpha beta 1 alpha square beta square into debt of 1 1 1 1 alpha alpha square 1 beta beta square okay now multiply with 1 plus 1 plus 1 okay next first row with 1 plus alpha plus beta 1 plus alpha square plus beta square. Okay, next to second row with three columns. 1 plus alpha plus beta. 1 plus alpha square plus beta square. 1 plus alpha q plus beta q. Now, 1 plus alpha square plus beta square. 1 plus alpha q plus beta q. 1 plus alpha power 4 plus beta power 4. Okay, now here this debt can be expanded to determinants 1 1 1 alpha beta 1 alpha square beta square into this one okay now here both same values is there this one and this one same now this can be right now here debt of 1 1 1 1 alpha alpha square 1 beta beta square whole square okay 1 1 1 alpha alpha square 1 beta beta square whole square okay now apply row operations now uh, r2 tends to r2 minus r1 now r3 tends to r3 minus r1 r2 tends to r2 minus r1 r3 tends to r3 minus r1 okay now r2 tends to Okay, 1, 1, 1, now debt of 1, 1, 1, now R2 minus R1, 1 minus 1, 0, now alpha minus 1, alpha square minus 1, okay, now R3 minus R1, 1 minus 1, 0, now beta minus 1, beta square minus 1, whole square. Okay, now uh, in determinants 1, 2, 0 C is there. Now corresponding eliminating this row and this column. Now alpha minus 1 into alpha minus 1 into beta square minus 1. 
alpha minus 1 into beta square minus 1 minus beta minus 1 into alpha square minus 1 whole square k is equal to now here alpha minus 1 beta minus 1 alpha minus 1 into now beta minus 1 is common now remaining now beta plus 1 beta plus 1 minus alpha minus 1 whole square whole square now 1 1 cancel this can be right now 1 minus alpha into 1 minus beta into alpha minus beta 1 minus alpha into 1 minus beta into alpha minus beta total whole square okay now multiply this one both now 1 minus common alpha plus beta plus alpha beta into alpha minus beta whole square can be right now alpha plus beta whole square now minus 4 alpha beta minus 4 alpha beta alpha minus beta whole square can be right alpha plus beta whole square minus 4 alpha beta okay now sum of the roots alpha plus beta minus d by a now 1 minus minus of minus plus 1 plus b by a plus c by a into now alpha plus beta whole square now b square b square by b square by a square minus 4 c by a 4 c by a okay now here a plus b plus c by a square a plus b plus c by a square into now b square minus 4 a c b square minus 4 a c by a square okay now that value is equal to a plus b plus c into and here also whole square is there um, whole square now whole square now 1 minus alpha into 1 minus beta whole square now okay total whole square is there now alpha minus beta whole square can be right this one now okay now 1 minus alpha plus beta plus alpha beta now a plus b plus c whole square by here square is there now a plus b plus c by a whole square now b square minus 4ac by a square now a plus b plus c whole square by a square into b square minus 4ac by a square into a square now a power 4 therefore a plus b plus c whole square into b square minus 4ac by a power 4 now option 2 is the correct one option 2 is the correct one